What's the word, y'all? Fuck niggas. We out here at PB and shit. Homecoming and shit. Who I'm with? My name's Ashley. Ashley, where you from? I moved here from Dallas. Never mind. <laughs> Who is this? Ted. Ted? I mean, fuck. <laughs> My name is Katie. Fuck. Katie, where you from? Katie, I'm from St. Louis. Shit, from St. Louis, Illinois. That's what's up. So, what's the worst thing your ex ever done to you? I can't relate. Hmm. I can't either. Tacos. It's okay. I, Tacos. No, I'm not protecting no, nobody. I'm so serious. I <laughs> ain't no worse than it done to me. Tacos. What's some shit that you wish men would do more? Clean up. Clean up as in the um, house, their car, their shoes. In general, I feel like men feel like the female's role is to clean up, but men want to go 50-50, so I feel like they should do 50% of the cooking and cleaning as well. I don't think men really want to go 50-50. As a man, well, I ain't going to say as a man, but men, we're natural providers, you know what I'm saying? So 50-50 doesn't technically mean, if I come in and I'm bringing home the groceries, and that means my wife should be cooking. Or right. if you're cooking, I should be doing the dishes. Vice yeah. versa, if I cook, you do the dishes. So that could be the 50-50. Yeah. yeah, but you you saying that, but not everybody does that. Yeah, Maybe you, you do that. Yourself. You speaking not upon yourself. Upon Y'all do that? Do that. Y'all with you're that? not speaking for our men, though. I'm speaking on behalf of all men. Uh, no. no, you're not speaking for all men. You're speaking for y'all. That's no. what y'all do. We men. Do that. We men. Okay. You're right. hey. Maybe it's right black at. boys. Why y'all fucking with black boys? boys? Yeah. Why y'all fucking with black I'm boys? Not, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Yeah. Okay, okay. so you. What do you mine, think men? Mine is communication. Communicate how? Just in general. Like, Some people don't know how to communicate. And that's, that's hard. What I'm saying. And, and th I understand that, but like, it's a way to learn or it's a way to change if you want to, you know, be with a person or, you know, if you want to do better. But you have to change yourself first. But I just say communication in general with men, period. So, communicating, what can make communication better? Like, talking about what specifically? Talking about everything. Like, like every if you're, okay, say that you're going through something that we can't relate to, tell us that. Talking ain't going to fix that, though. But if you're going through something, it might be something I can't do that. We're not really operating off of feeling better. You know what I'm saying? We got to create solutions. Solutions don't always come in a feel good place. It's more critical thinking than anything. But what if I can help you and you're not saying nothing? What if there's a way that I can possibly fix what's going on and you're not saying anything? It's a possibility that you can't. But it's a possibility that I can too. But it's a possibility that but you can't. Saying that but you, you're saying that I can't, but. you of the shots you don't take. Thank so you. if you don't say nothing, we won't know. If you give me a ball and it's a goal over there, I know I'm gonna miss it, right? Why would I waste the energy throwing that and knowing I'm gonna miss it? But you won't always miss it. You never know until you throw it. But I, I, I no. pretty much know. No, I pretty you can't much say know. that. If I tell you, you, don't know, you if don't I tell know you, until you throw it. So you don't know until you throw it. Two million likes. <laughs> tell him. God <laughs> damn it. Likes. Two million. You don't know until you throw it though. So unless you throw it, how will you know you're gonna miss it? Yeah. Y'all exactly. agreeing with that? Y'all both agreeing with that? Yeah. What's your answer? Yeah, I wanna know your well, your answer. What's my answer? What yeah. men need to do more? Yeah. Stop being bitches. Keep the stack. Mm. But not though. Yeah, I, that was kind of the point of what I said, but. <laughs> but you ain't said that. I said communication. I'm not gonna lie. Communication. Communication is so big, but period. Communication is hard though. But communication is a big thing in everything. I should have asked them niggas. They look like some weird. Hey, hello. Hey, excuse hey. me. Come back. Can y'all come back right quick? Yeah. We got a question yeah. for you, Black yeah. Kings, real quick. They said, "How you doing? Yeah, yeah, what's up, my game? What's going on? Y'all alright? Hello. Yeah, like nah, for sure, for sure." Yeah, yeah. We just having a quick conversation, real quick. This is somebody from Illinois. That's Ashley. Ashley with a Y, Ashley. with an I. With an I at the end. It's A S H L E I. Okay, man. So I was defending myself yeah. on behalf of all black men. They said black men need to do better at communicating and cleaning up. Whoa. Right? I ain't saying nothing about cleaning up. I said communicating. She said cleaning no, up. I said it. Come on now, I got that going on. Yeah. What you think about that? Uh, I would have to disagree. I totally disagree. How Only because communication is not on us. It's for the, the female to come together to communicate what we got going on. Because when you look at a relationship, you coming to your man for what you need and what you got going on. I'm aware, but do y'all know that communication goes two ways? Yeah, it's not just a woman saying. communicating. Fact. It's a two way street. Ways. It's a two way street. Yeah. Say, say it's something a two way going street. on. I think he was cooking. Let him get there. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. But I'm saying, like, it's, it's, like y'all said, it's a two way street, but more, more majority of the time, 
a man that's usually there for y'all, for y'all services and y'all needs. So if you feel like your man needs to communicate better, it's, it has to be both, both ways. He can 50, only- 50-50. Yeah, it has to be both ways. Yeah, it has to be both I ways. Agree. That's all. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. But y'all aren't wrong. We're not gonna yeah, no, we degrade know. what y'all got going on. If y'all feel like men out here should communicate better, okay, ladies, y'all have to tell us what y'all want. Y'all have to give off, y'all have to, we, we only We're reading here. what y'all going on, We're exactly. Here. I mean, it's all based off a of personal experience, though. Mm -hmm, for sure, so facts. I was say, he asked us based on our experience, yeah. what we feel like. So, I mean, everybody's answer is gonna be different. For sure. Yeah. What you think about going 50-50? 50 50. Uh, what's, your say, what's your definition of 50 50? 50 50. My definition of 50 50 is like, it don't even have to be just bills. Like, if y'all going out, I pay for the dinner this you time. Tip. You pay for the, you know what I'm saying, the, the dinner next the time or the lunch or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? If yeah, I pay for the meal, saying? get the tip, it don't even matter. Like, if we going out and I get the, the dinner, food, you get, the, drink. get the, the next event. Like, don't make it sure it's just like you just, your man just paying for everything. Your man, okay, he may have it, but don't just look for him just to be paying for it. Because that signs, that signs you got a yeah. broke bitch, huh? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, ain't nothing wrong with that. We don't, we're 90% of the time, your girl may not want to work. Look, Some you guys like that. Hold on, whoa. You said your girl don't got to work. No, 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 Some guys may not want that girl He like broke bitches. That's what he said. Yeah, hey, some some guys like that. My, not my girl. My girl, she she might she want to work and she don't. She can. She cannot. It don't matter to me. I like my girl for what who she is. That's what I'm like, I would go for that. Yeah, but hey, that's why I said everybody is different though. Some girls like they gotta have everything and pay for everything. Some girls just want to provide for their guy. It all depends on who you is, but there's no wrong answer. It's all circumstances yeah. that come with everybody. But I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Love what y'all sure. doing, bro. Keep out. Keep it growing. For sure, so Black Lady. King. Nice Keep meeting you. Thank you, Queen. Yeah. Keep it Ashley. lovely. Up top, never Be hanging. Safe. Are you on fuck with him? Yeah. Pre oh, yeah. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach Don, here on JV TV. I'm with Amari. Amari. Sarah. And what's your classification? Sophomore. Okay. Sophomore. And y'all been setting y'all home coming out? Yes. You drunk yet? Not yet. It's cool, because we still early. I got some questions for y'all, though. If you could say one thing to your ex, what would it be? Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that. Why? What'd he do to you? What ain't he do? <laughs> Sound like a long list. <laughs> For sure. All right, what about you? Fuck that nigga. Damn, you too? What your ex do? A lot of shit. Like what? You don't even know. It couldn't have been that bad. Y'all don't even remember it. Oh, I remember. Oh, I remember. Tell me about okay. it. It just ain't for you, Taco. Ah, uh, type shit. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, what's the brokest thing your ex ever did? It's okay, you can air him out. You said fuck him, so. <laughs> Hold on, let me think about that one. Go ahead, take your time. We're gonna drop to you. Um. Well, like, one of my exes, they had me paying for the first date. Whoa! Yeah. No. That's how you yeah. Oh, you too? Yeah. So, was there a second date? What about you? Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, you had one message that you could say to that one eater that got away. What would it be? Your favorite eater. <laughs> uh, come home. Oh, so he got a spot open. Hey. Always do. Always do. That's what you want to hear. That's what you always want to hear. What about you? Damn. Think about it. Whatever he did, it wasn't that bad. You can always spin the block. Oh, no, he can't. He don't get a second chance? You don't think niggas deserve second chances, though? He got my favorite eater. Okay, respect it. But yours can come back, though. Hey, y'all heard it here first. She said, come home. Oh, yeah. I am. You going? Yeah. How you doing? Who I'm here with? Malia. Okay. Angel. Angel. So, boom. First question for you What's some words you got for your ex? You could tell that nigga anything. If you need to apologize, go ahead. You can do it here too. Good luck. Wait, what? <laughs> Finding someone that's not me. What if he still want you? He do. <laughs> game respect, game. All right. What about you? Um, I don't got nothing to say. <laughs> like. You know, nothing to say to your ex. Like, I'm sorry. No, you he's sorry. a piece of shit. Like, there's nothing to say. What he did? To have such disdain so for him. Cry. He cheated, but like, we're not even gonna get it. The nerve of that nigga. I'm saying, like, what the fuck? Why would he? He cheated, like, up or down? What you mean? Like, he cheated up or he cheated down? Because that matter. Oh, yeah. down? Hey, I can't forget that shit either. 
<laughs> Tripping. Is that it? But I just got two more questions for you, okay. then we're done. I know y'all want to get drunk and shit. Y'all going to parties tonight? Yeah. What, yeah. what party y'all hitting? You right, all of them was pretty. I don't even know which one you was talking about, but they was all pretty. Both of them. On the cool. All of them. You be dressed so pretty. Y'all look good. What you got uh, to say to your favorite eater? What about what? Your favorite eater. <laughs> the one that got away. The one that got away is crazy. It's honest though. Come home. Come home, see? I'm telling you. You can always spin the block. You can always spin the block. What about you? You want yours to come home too? Of course. <laughs> so if y'all miss them so much, why they not there now? It's a girl. Respect. <laughs> Respect. And for you? Um, because I don't never spin the block twice. Um, you missing out? No. This, is, this video is so awkward. That's the best part. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is hot as fuck. <laughs> No music, no nothing. The music in my head. Okay. You don't hear it? No. All right, last question. <laughs> what you want niggas to do more of? What the, what they what they missing the, the the check mark at? Come back. Come back. They don't come back enough. No. Oh, come back to you. All right. What niggas need to do more of that they missing the block on? Mm, they need to stop putting their dick in everybody. <laughs> Dig discipline. Yeah. Rule of the day. Dig discipline. Okay, I like it. And they just need to learn how to talk less. Fuck less, talk less. Oh. What about you? I would say ego. Put y'all mm. egos aside sometimes. Like, y'all egos be so high for no reason. <laughs> Do you got an ego? Yeah. Everybody got an ego, but like, I put my stuff aside. Mm. They never put their stuff aside, so. Hey, there it is. Uh, to her best eater, she said, come home. She miss you. <laughs> they always do. Till next time, peace. We just vented. Uh, you ready? Wait, how many followers you got on YouTube? Subscribe. How many? You told me like two questions. I need to, um, where if I'm you gonna, send it to. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. Okay, okay. Yeah, a little song. Yeah, a little song. Yeah, a little song. All right, you shooting? All right, but I'm about to put on my shirt. I'm about to get in the middle of y'all real quick. So it's going to, you know, aesthetically please. Y'all got that shit on, like I said. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, a.k.a. Coax the Don, here on JV TV. I'm here with... Ty. What's good, Ty? Tay. Ty and Tay. TT. I'm here with TT. How y'all homecoming going so far? Good. 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 What's been good about it? Really nothing yet, but it's hot okay. as fuck. Well, I mean, it's gonna come, cause you know when the light, yeah, then, yeah the lights go off, the night up. turn up. I'm turning it's up. It's coming. What about you, how y'all homecoming been? It's going good. Okay. I'm, What's good about it? I'm back on campus, this is where I belong. <laughs> Talk to him, you it's outside. <laughs> okay, so boom, first question. Who the best female rapper at right now? Glow. Glow? Yeah. Okay, who, who you taking? Glow. It was, it was that last album for you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already knowing. I'm already, okay, good. I'm thinking somebody about to say Sexy Red or Lotto. I was thinking my, I was thinking my bitch I'm Sexy. I was thinking my bitch Sexy. I'm like going hard. But yeah, that last album was kind of different. No, nah, right for now. sure, for sure. All right, so boom. My next question is, what's one thing niggas need to do more of that they're not doing enough of? Hmm. Mm, think about it. Oh, yeah. Niggas need to do Stop lying. Stop lying. Get more fucking responsibility. Like, just quit lying. Responsibility bro. for what? No more love. Just for your actions. Like, these niggas don't give a fuck. They just lie and think it's cool. Some like, niggas do, though. Just grow Some up. niggas do. Some niggas do. They just yeah. have to grow up, period. Grow they up. just got to show more love. In so niggas be acting more childish than... I guess that. But yeah. they lie. They lie too much. You got to get your uncle or something. Stop touching with these young niggas. That's what it is. That's what it is. Your uncle. Okay, last question. What's the, uh, what's the most simp shit a nigga ever did for you? He bought me a horse. What kind of horse? She a standard bread. Hmm. What you did with it? I still got it. What you mean? Oh, okay. I ain't gonna lie. I thought she was about to tell me you sold it. Yeah, nah, oh, okay, nah, for sure. You know how much horses cost? Yeah. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Iceberg Slim, aka Coach it Down, here on JV TV Anime. Right now, I got the lovely ladies here with me. Who am I here with? Kaylee. Okay. Kamora. And where y'all from? Mississippi. 
I'm from Tyler. Oh, uh, y'all are miles away. Who I got on my left? Ash. Lay. Okay, and I just want to say here at PV, all of them got that shit on right now. They came out stepping. I'm fucking with it. I know you fucking with it. Uh, boom. My first question for y'all. Who the best female rapper at right now? Glorilla. Glorilla? That's a good answer. Glorilla. Glow? No? Okay. What about you? Glow for sure. Okay. Um, I say Glow, Sexy, and Mona Leo. Shout out PB. Okay. If you had to pick one out that three, who on, who on top? Um, I'll be different. I'll say Sexy Red. <laughs> okay. And tell me why it's Sexy over Glow. Um, Sexy, she got different moves. Glow so, ugh. Sexy, ugh. And yeah. she, okay, daddy. Type shit, type shit. Same way for you? Or you still with Glow? I'm Glow, I'm going with Glow all day. You solid. I'm glad how you didn't switch up. All right, for sure. Next question. What's something y'all ex did that was like, that gave y'all the ick? They gave me the ick. Yeah, he was like, that nigga did that shit, and he was like, yeah, you for sure know it's over. That nigga cook. Oh, well, while we was together, he had went to like the little homecoming or prom or whatever, and he took like pictures with another girl, and we was together. That kind of gave me the ick. Did he post them? She posted them. Yeah, I can't condone that one. Okay. <laughs> he had a baby on me. Did you already know that he was fucking with another? No. No. That's pretty icky. Okay. What about you? Oh boy. Well, where do I start? Um. Where I can answer that for her. Oh, yeah, he brought a bitch to my apartment while I was down here, and so. No. Yeah, but we broke up though. This oh, well, I hope so. Done. Yeah, we done. We so done. like, so like, was you like giving your car to this nigga too? Cause I mean, for him to feel that comfortable, what made him so comfortable to do that? He was broke as fuck. He didn't have no job. He didn't have no money. I was a breadwinner. Okay. I was dumb. You know, I was young, young and dumb. dumb. Yeah. It'd be like that. Forgive me though. If you watch this, I'm sorry. You broke as fuck. He still broke. You don't think he came up now? Hell nah. Hell nah. Okay. <laughs> For you. Um. Well, I only have one real ex because I used to talk to people. I don't really cuff like that. Um. So <laughs> it was back in high school, and he was just insecure. That's it. Because if you can't handle a bad bitch. Don't be with her. What was insecure about him? How, what made, a, what um, made him insecure? My hair was in a bun. He wouldn't like that because it's too much in my face. Um, I used to play volleyball and be a cheerleader. It's too short or your butt out. Shit like that. Uh-uh. What if, like, he want to protect what's his, though? Like, you know. Once again, if you can't handle a bad bitch, don't be with her. Type shit. I feel it. All right. All right. All right, my last question for y'all. What's one message you would give to your favorite eater that got away? Um, no comment. Why not? I have a man. Okay. Go to them first. Go to them first. Hey. Um, I love you, boo, so much. Um, you really be doing a damn thing for real. You really be eating it down for real. I love you for real. So he can spin the block? Hell, fuck yeah. He sure the fuck can. Today if he wanted to. Tonight. Um, he wouldn't get away. This coochie's too good. Exactly. He wouldn't run. I promise Pinky. I promise Pinky. So you got your favorite eater now then? Of course. Let's say less than. What's understood don't need to be explained. You already know who it is. Cake ass, Nick. Enough said. Boom, my first question for you. Who the best female rapper out right now? Oh, uh, shit. Nigga, that's a good question. Because it's a lot. They running that shit up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who's selling the most pussy on the album right now? I, I know. Say, like Lotto? Well, Megan shit just dropped too. OK, I ain't heard her shit yet. Yeah. I, heard, I heard Glow. Well, really like Glow really like, she, yeah. she on that hoe. Glow want to box something. She ain't just trying to sell pussy yeah. like that. She uh, want to uh. fight something. Yeah, she she want to slide and all this whole ass shit up. Yeah, she done there pimping it out. Yeah, I want to fuck the shit out of little Glow too. God damn, little uh, sexy little motherfucker. She get better every video. Yeah, my nigga. She really, really do, man. She she came a long way, my nigga. But uh, it really just boiled down to who's slanging the most cock on, on record like a motherfucker. That's... That's who they going to say the best mother. Whoever yeah. wind these old fuck ass bitches up, these thought ass hoes, whoever can get them to lie us in the club, that's who the baddest bitch. Whoever can get these hoes to do the most fucking cake ass. <laughs> would you ever, would, best, would best you ever marry ever. a hoe? Huh? Would you ever marry a hoe? Nah, my nigga. Marriage ain't for a real motherfucking nigga like me, my nigga. You know, you stay stumped down, my nigga. Because I'm going to do what I do, my nigga. Real nigga, I can't answer to no motherfucker. I don't need the drama the most important thing in my life is peace, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I can supply everything that I need except for a piece of pussy, and I can get that anywhere, my nigga. 
You feel me? I feel it. What you think about Kalen Clark always being in the gym and like just hooping, but we see like Angel Reese out doing podcasts and other places going to Wild and Out. Who you think like more like mentally ready for the game right now? Uh, you know, that's a great question, my G. Well, does that even matter? I don't know. It's going to come down to uh, them personally. Uh, Caitlin Clark, see, the, the thing about it is the system is trying to sell an image. Facts, yeah. You feel what Speak I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, so yeah. they trying to sell the white girl as with this dedicated, you know, uh, white savior, this white hope image. Yeah. But the most motherfucking eyes on the game is because of Angel Reese and her beauty and her sex appeal. Okay. And they know that. And they not fucked up about her being out there because they talking about Caitlin Clark, but don't nobody give, niggas don't give a fuck about Caitlin Clark. Niggas fuck with, with that shit because of uh, Angel and Asia. You know, Caitlin, no, she, she doing her thing, but okay. she bringing that white crowd and yeah. it's creating that bird Magic Johnson yeah, yeah, dynamic, yeah, exactly. you know what I'm yeah. saying? So they could sell that white versus black shit because America going to be racist until this motherfucker blow up. Every so time. they going to sell that whole ass shit. Yeah. Yeah. What you, you think, so you think Angel Reese should have got rookie of the year? Oh, uh, she, she was doing her thing. I thought, no, I double, think, double. That's yeah, I, I really think it was a lot of politics in it. And if they didn't give it to that white girl, them white folks, you know, because it's, it is what it is. This America, my nigga, yeah, you yeah, know, right. so, but it's all about raising that, ch that trophy up and walking away and cementing your legacy as a champion and as a legend. So, you know, at the end, you yeah. won't know until it's all over. Once it's all over, then you'll be able to judge. Okay. Yeah. I like that. My last question for you. What's the message you got to your favorite eater that got away? Favorite what? Your favorite eater. Oh, you're talking about uh, Toppy. Oh, yeah. shit. They all my favorite cake ass nigga. The fuck is you talking about? And ain't now one of them got away. Cause she okay. can't, if she got away, she ain't my favorite like a motherfucker. You feel me? The best ability is availability. Already, my chick. I feel it. Hey, it's been JVTV. Appreciate it. We out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, AKA Coach the Don, and we here at PV Homecoming. How y'all feeling? Good. Okay, okay. Good. Amazing. Where y'all from? Dallas, Mississippi, Colorado, Michigan. Houston. Okay, cool. So we got people from everywhere. Y'all all over. What's what's y'all signs? Cancer. Cancer shit. Okay. The real nigga season right now, Scorpio. The fuck? By the way, I heard oh, I heard oh. Cancer and Scorpio is like soulmates. Uh, yeah, we are. We for sure are. We gonna lock in on that later. Wait, what y'all on? Big Leo. Big Leo shit. Hey, cool or whatever. <laughs> Virgo. Yeah, summer, but hate Leos. Hey, no comment. The Taurus. Okay, talk to him. Wait, I'm, I'm a Virgo. Clock I'm a Virgo, Gemini, yeah. big Gemini. Alright, so yeah. boom, my first question for y'all. Yeah, well, I'm a lit Gemini. Hey, peep this. Who the best Gemini. who the best female rapper right now? Glow. Glow? I'll give him Mana Leo. Mana okay, I fuck with her. Hello, sexy. Sexy red. Right? Glow. 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 Who you got? Who you got? Glow. 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 I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Okay. Now that ass album was hard. I fucked with that. I, that was tough. Yeah. yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you heard it here first. Boom. Next question for y'all. What's something that niggas need to do better that they're not hitting the box on? Spend that money. Spending that money. <laughs> not lie. Not being cowards and being the men that they say they're gonna be. That's where communication okay. comes into play. Communication. Emotionally available. <laughs> Alright, but my last question for y'all. What's a word to your ex that you got like on your mind right now? Like something you gotta get off your chest to any ex. You know what? Like, Ain't nothing oh, even like, bad. Thank you. Uh y'all made me better. No not what not to choose. That's gross. Thank you. Fuck them bitches and fuck you. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> fuck that nigga. He won't chance after chance after chance, nigga. Nope. I can't stand freedom. Fuck. <laughs> okay. yeah, that nigga can never get me back. Never. He texted me last night. Oh. That nigga could never get me back. He your favorite eater? Hell no. Nah. I guess that's why he's not coming back. Hell no. Nah. Um, an example of what not to do. 
It's really fuck that nigga at the end of the day. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> All right. yeah. Hey, y'all heard it here first. Fuck that nigga. You missed out. And you and you wasn't a real munch for real. So she gone now. Oh. Till next time. Peace. We just been it. Okay. Treasure. Okay. And what what's uh what's your classification? Air Force. Oh, Air Force. Say that again. Air Force. Not like your your classification, like sophomore, junior. Air Force. She's not in college. I'm oh, in for Air real? Force. Oh, I'm tripping. Okay, I'm slow. That's on me. What about you? I'm a freshman. Okay, for sure. Boom, my first question for y'all. Who the best female rapper out right now? Um, I'm always having to say Megan. Glow. Yeah, that last album was hard. What you say? Who the Glow? best female rapper out right now? Um, I say Glow. Right now. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Right now. Yeah. yeah, Glow and Meg. Yeah, top two. I ain't mad at that. Okay, boom. Next question for you. What's the most simp shit a nigga ever did for you? <laughs> um, paid for my hair, my nails, my toes, and flew me out. You saying flew you out? Flew you out where? <laughs> and did you like know this nigga for real or like not for real? Yeah, I did know him. How long y'all was talking? Not long because I'm gay. Smooth finesse. That's crazy. That's crazy. Alright, what about you? Oh no. No, nah, you know. I see it in your eyes, you know. You ain't fooling me. Yes, go to somebody else. Alright, I'm gonna spin the block on you. What about you? Um, just took me on a day and got me a boo basket. <laughs> yeah, without even asking. How long y'all was talking? Um, it was our first date. He got me that. It was really cute. I ain't too bad. Yeah. Cool little basket. Yeah. That's something light. I know the nigga for you did something way crazy. You just not trying to speak on it. It's cool. You can air that nigga out. Fuck that nigga. I'm not going to that nigga like that. <laughs> I don't do that. All right, boom. Last question for y'all. What's the message you could give to your favorite eater right now? <laughs> or the one that got away? Please, come back. <laughs> Please. I need it again after actually after this hit my phone. Thank you. Why he not here now? Why you cut no, him off? No, no, he is here and I see him talking to a bitch. So whoever that bitch was who trying to get my man back the fuck up. Please and thank you. Fair enough. What about you? Um I'm coming home. <laughs> so that's home. What's something you can say? What's what's the message you got for your favorite eater? Or the one that got away? Um, I need a new one tonight, and if I find one tonight, and specifically a stunt, so if y'all find any, send them my way. So the last one can't come home? No. Oh, that's no, it's done. No. Yeah. He's oh, cooked. He didn't eat it off the box, so I'm going to need a new yeah, one. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, boom, my first question for you. What's something that niggas slacking on that they need to do better? Um, taking girls on dates and actually courting girls, not asking to come over to our house. Niggas, niggas don't be taking you on dates? They do, but like, niggas don't always court. They be like, weird, like, don't ask me to come over to my house, I might shoot you. First oh, you time, one of them. First time you should not ask me to come over to my house, that's crazy, I don't know you. No, I feel that, I feel that, I feel that. So what, what, what's the worst date you've ever been on? Um, a uh, nigga took me on a date and he took my phone and he uh he he drove off with my phone and I had to call the cops and now he's in jail. You got it back? I got it back, but he he took my shit and got mad because it was our first day and he seen somebody take my phone. Yeah. Oh, you had your roster on the side and he seen that shit. Well, we was on a first date and he took my phone. He went through it. He drove off with my phone and left me at the spot. So how many dates it take for you to cut off your roster? It depends on the person. It depends on the person because it's like you can go on a thousand dates with somebody and you might not like them. So it really just depends. How, how long you had that bottle balanced on your head? Since yesterday. Since yesterday? <laughs> I'm fucking with it. All right, I got a question for both y'all now. What's the message you would want to give to your favorite eater or the nigga that got away? Babe, I missed you. Come back. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, I feel like we should just let that shit go. We can move on. Like. You was my man. I got. I still got the ring on my finger, babe. Come back home. What you did? Nothing. Why you just, I broke up with him, and now I want him back. 
So he can always spin the block? Yeah. Well, not always, but yeah. That's why he fucked me up. It be like that sometimes. Um, come eat this pussy, girl. You know who you is, though. You can come back, though. I told you already. Yeah. So why didn't it work out the first time? Um, we was... She played in my face. Bitch, don't ever play in my face like that again, bitch. You're going to get your ass whipped on my soul. Okay. Boom, well, last question for y'all. What's the most simp shit a nigga ever did for you? Um, nigga bought me shoes, pit, bought my ring, uh, took me on shopping springs, all that good shit. Like, I mean, I don't really know sim. Like, niggas be buying me shit on the first day, like, take me on shopping springs. On the first day? Like, a nigga took me on a, a, a $2,000 shopping spring. I never fucked him or nothing. It was just because he liked me. You must know. have a lot to like. Yeah, my energy is awesome. I have a very good aura. Yeah. That's important. Okay, the most simp shit a bitch ever did for me was play with her pussy on the phone. But, you know, you know how we get though. It's me. Yeah. To get up in the middle of y'all. Oh. Looking for the aesthetic. Right. Good. Hey, so I just want to say all these lovely ladies here got that shit on right now. Well, let me know what's your name, where you from? Shy, I'm from LA. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that shirt. That, yeah, I fuck with so that. She's so cute, ain't she? Yeah. Adorable. <laughs> Love you. Miani, I'm from Inglewood. Okay. And Leah, I'm from LA. Oh, y'all all from LA? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay, for sure. So, boom, my, my next question for y'all. My first question. Y'all prefer. Oh, my bad. Go ahead. <laughs> I respect it. I was just trying to see, like, what's the movement like? You prefer L.A. niggas or Houston niggas? How they moving? Oh, oh no. Talk to me. I have never fucked with an L.A. nigga, but, I mean, no. I never fucked with a Houston nigga. You want I to? I never did. I don't know what they about. I don't know nothing. But my nigga from L.A., so. You, you trying to find out? My nigga from L.A. Type shit. But yeah, I hope everyone's drinking tonight. I hope everyone gets drunk. I hope everyone has a good time. Y'all drunk? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Get fucked up. You gotta take it with me though. Now, 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 now. How that feel? Yeah, everybody get a shot. Good news, good news. Oh. Cameraman, yeah, get a cameraman a shot. Yeah. My next question for y'all. Oh, I, got, I got a couple more, okay, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. What's the message you got uh, for your ex if you had to tell him one last thing? Well, really, I don't have no ex because I don't do no boyfriends, but I just got to tell everybody, fuck a nigga, get money. Why you don't got no boyfriend? Why you don't have no boyfriend? I'm chilling, I'm cooling. Like, Getting that money? Yeah. I feel it. I ain't mad at it. Oh, that was insane. I fuck. Yeah, we was. What about you? Oh, uh, message from my ex. I love you. I miss you. Uh, no, I'm just joking. I'm just. Joking. That's crazy. You started crashing out. Um, fuck you, but I love you. I miss you. I said what I said. She said what she said. If you got an issue with it, DM her. What about you? And I don't have shit to say. I love my man now, though. I'm going over there tonight. Yeah, I hope everybody just have a good life. That's really it. What you got to say? What you got to say to your ex? My ex? Baby know where home at. Ooh. You know where home at? He said, you know where home at. Don't ever play. You know how that go. You know how that go. But hey, as of right now, I'm single. So what y'all Y'all all just came from L.A. or y'all out here right now? Oh, we go to Southern. I live in Houston. We go to Southern. Oh, y'all go to Southern. Okay. They go to Southern. I live in Houston. Okay, for sure. Good, good, good. All right, I got. I live in Houston too. I got one more. Then y'all out of here. All right, my bad, my bad. I know y'all want to get back to drinking. You right. For sure. All right, what's uh, what's something you can say to your favorite eater or the one that got away? You is a eater. <laughs> an eater. My favorite one is my current one. So I don't give a fuck. He know what what it is and what it ain't. I said my favorite one, my current one. Okay, let me say it. My favorite eater just like, he eats. <laughs> <laughs> he eats, he eats. <laughs>
And I love that. I love that. What? He he's still around? No, like that's not like my nigga. Like that's just a nigga like he's just a he just an eater. Like yeah. I'm a pillow princess. He's eater. You need a new one. Don't put me on that. Type shit. What about you? Um, I don't know. All my niggas is eaters, so. Don't post this. Don't post ours. He gonna post this, bitch. All your niggas is eaters. All my niggas is eaters. I ain't so. fucking with him if he not an eater. So, shit, I miss all y'all. Hello, if he not an eater, we not fucking with him. Exactly. I miss all y'all then. Exactly. Hey, y'all heard it here first. If you are an ex, she miss you. Come back home. Until next time. Peace. We just been it. My first question for y'all. What's the worst thing y'all ex ever done? Oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. My ex, right? My homeboy I grew up with, they started fucking with each other. But this like my brother, you heard? And the bitch went, but I can't be mad at her because the nigga, that's, you feel me? If you my brother, why you fucking with my ex? Oh, he ain't, he ain't get the, the cosign before he... Nah, if he uh, would've got the cosign, it would've been, been cool. Good, but. My egg, my first love, cuz uh, a bitch I that's, care about. Uh, that's fucked up. That's crazy. I'm gonna walk out on that one, cuz that one embarrassing. Uh, that's solid. <laughs> solid. All right, what about you? What's the worst thing your ex ever did? The worst thing my ex ever did was he went fuck his ex and brought me Camellia. No. I'm telling you, he burnt me. I was so mad. I was burnt. Did y'all fight? I fucked him up. What and is that? I was going get shots. I was so mad, but he brought, he brought me Camellia, though. All right. That's the worst thing a nigga ever did. Yeah, he, he deserved to get his ass whooped for that one. What about you, bro? The worst thing my ex did to me was order me the wrong sandwich. Like, bro, I didn't ask for bacon, egg, and cheese with mayo and jelly. I said mayo and ketchup, but she got me jelly. So I left her. That's the worst thing she ever did? Worst thing she ever did. Wait, you said you left her for that? I left her. I'm like, gotta go. Man. Okay, alright, alright. So like he we was in the house, we was in the crib. And he was calling me from a text now number, you feel me? Yeah. Why he with me? Then when I get to work, he asking me who calling you from an unknown number. The whole time it's him. Why was he doing that? Because like he thought like I was gonna think like one of a different nigga and I was gonna like you feel oh, me? So he's he like to, my phone wrong, so I text me from text that whole time it's hooked. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's okay, creepy. Okay. Yeah, I so feel it. I feel it. Alright, last question for you. What's the message you got for your favorite eater that got away? Well he's still here. Well he ain't get away because oh, yeah, he gonna eat it anytime. Anytime. He can anytime. always spin the block. He can always spin the block. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I appreciate you. I got one more. This nigga did not make me skirt or bust a nut. I'm not even gonna lie to you off eating my pussy. Not once? Not once. So you say, like, can you do that though? I like, don't know, but like, I never had an eater, so like, I don't got nothing to say to my best eater that got away. But what you trying to you find out? Yeah. I'm saying I'm trying to find out for real. Shut him up. Go ahead, Twin. See what that be about, Twin. Are you gonna be my best? You gonna be my best eater? That's what the job requirement was, right? Okay. You got the job. You asking, you asking questions you already know the answer to. You got the job. You got to make sure you screenshot it. Most Because the service is so ass out here. I'm already Houston. knowing. Get your fucking shit together. But hey, y'all heard it here first. Uh, best eater, you lost your spot. Till next time, peace. We just been it. Who am I here with? Too low, too funny. Hey, y'all heard it here first. I'm going to have a link in the description below. All his shit. Check it out. Boy, well, first question for you. What made you come to PV Homecoming? No, it's their birthday. It's their birthday? Yeah, my homegirl, my homeboy birthday, and we ain't never been to Houston before. Oh, that's lit. Okay. I'm trying to see like what Houston was talking about. What's the what's the first uh, impression looking like? She cool. They got the they got the they got the two teeth. Like yeah, they got them. I feel it. All right. Bigger in Texas. I see. <laughs> Dead ass. All right, boom. Next question. What's the worst thing your ex ever did to you? She never did nothing to me. Never. You don't got no bad ex stories. Ain't nobody talking. We had one ex. I broke That's up with her. Why you broke up with her? I, I went to college. <laughs> It'd be like that. <laughs> It'd be like that. I feel it. All right. Last question.
We were just talking to them. I know. Oh, okay. They all from Atlanta? Oh, no. I heard they from LA and shit. All right. Last question. Uh, what's the message you got to your favorite eater that got away? I ain't gonna lie, I got me a new one, so I ain't tripping. I be missing her sometimes. And nah, okay. she only got away because she moved. Oh, that one even counted. And then one of them was my ex. And okay. she moved too. Okay. okay. But then I got me another good one. Okay. Like All right, babe, this is the last question for you to hit. What's the, what's the most you ever spent on a bitch? I like. $80. Okay, that's something light. That's something light. I, I don't pay to play. Hey. Game is wisdom. Hey. What's good? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach Don, and I'm here with the one, the only, the beautiful. Reese Sinclair, follow me on everything. B R E S Y N C L A I R. Hey, y'all hit that up. I got a couple questions for you so far. Don't let them be dumb questions. Never that. I look like a dumb type of nigga. You don't look dumb, but don't ask me no questions, but all right. Come no, on. we here. We okay. here. We here. All right, so boom. What's uh, something that niggas slacking at right now that they need to do better in? Um, communication. Um, getting money. And yeah, that's the two main things. You feel like you communicate well? No, but I'm better than most niggas. Okay. But you be, get, you be getting money though, huh? Yeah, of course. I got my own salon. Without question? Sure. Okay. For sure. All right, yeah. so let's. Tell me something then. All right, next question for you. What's the uh, worst date you ever been on? Um, The worst date, somebody took me to Applebee's for the first date. What's wrong with Applebee's? I only been like once or twice, so I really um, don't know. What's wrong with that? It's a cheap date. It's a cheap date. Well, you would have rather go. For the first date, come on now. How much a nigga got to spend on the first it's date? It's not about spending. It's about the experience, and it's about where Wait, you go. Was the food Applebee's good? Was cheap. No, I hate Applebee's. But I was nice. I still went. Did he get a second cool. date? No. Damn. That was it. All right, I feel it. I feel it. All right, last question for you. What's the worst thing your ex ever did? Cheated. He cheated up or he cheated down? Always down, baby. When you cheat, you on me, you cheat down. Hey. Yeah. Understood. What's understood don't need to be explained. Yeah. Until next time, we just been in. We out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach the Don, here on JV TV. I'm here with some lovely ladies. And one, my nigga. What about you? What's your name? Leah. Leah. How old are you? I am 20. Leah, she's 20. My name is Mia, and I'm 21. Okay. What about you? I'm 20. And what's your name? Imani. My name is Scar. Okay, boom. My first question for y'all. What's the broken shit your ex ever did for you? I don't know, because I, I was the one with the money. That sounds like some broke shit right there. Like, every time, though? Like, he ain't ever take you out or nothing? When he took me out, he wanted me to slip my card under the table so they think that he was paying. Oh, you lying. That but I? he's a nigga, so I, I thought, okay. So, like, before y'all left, I'm was it understood he was paying or? It was up in the air. We had to pay one way or another. I feel it. What about you? I've never had an ex before. It ain't all that cracked up to be. You save a lot more money this way. What about y'all? What's the question? What's the broken shit your ex ever did before? He ain't really do no broke shit. I fuck with niggas that get money. Oh, every time. Hi. Look, I told my girl I want her to take me on a date. She took me to the gas station to get my favorite candy. <laughs> These hoes, bro, they ain't worth it, bro. These hoes. Fuck these hoes, bro. Uh, so boom, what's the uh, what's the worst date y'all ever been on before? Bro, I, gotta go. I don't even get taken out on dates. You lying? Why do you think that is? Cause these niggas don't know our relationship between. I just wanna fuck a bitch. What would be a good date that you would want to get taken on? Honestly, hey, like diving. like some corny shit. I just wanna go dress up in a dress. Head to toe, done up on a romantic ass date. That's it. To, to get some steak. Okay. What time are you free? You said what? What time are you free? I'm not. It's homecoming. Heard it there. What was what you were saying? Um, all three of my brothers came on my first date. You said paid for your first date? No, my all three of my brothers came on my first date. Why? Why they do that? They ain't trust the nigga. 
I don't know. They just they just came along. What did you say? What's the question? What was the worst date you ever been on? Oh, I've never been on a bad date for bad day for real. Oh, so oh, niggas be people. coming correct with you? Yeah. Okay. For sure. Is there any ex you would take back? Hell no. Why not? He can't spin the block one time? No, that was some old shit. Damn. What about you? The worst date I've been on was probably this bitch. She said she want to go on a picnic. And nigga, Hurricane Harvey hit. Yeah, that's an L right there. Yeah. Are you okay? You good, my nigga? Hey, right, man. <laughs> you know how you can't trust these hoes. Hey, I got one last question for y'all. If you could give a message to your favorite eater, what would it be? You have my number. Why you ain't call it? Where you at, Slink? Um, probably Bay. I love you. You my everything. Keep you in your shit. You heard it here first. JV TV. We out. What's good? It's your boy Iceberg Slim, aka Coach the Don, here on JV TV. I got some lovely ladies with me right now. What's your name and how old is yours? I'm Jasmine and I'm 21. 21? Okay. What about you? I'm Kaya and I'm 20. I am you 20. I am you. Kayla and I'm 20. 20. Okay, boom. First question. Who the best female rapper out right now? Uh, Glow. I like For that sure. Glow. Lotto. Lotto. I ain't mad at that. I fuck with Meg. Meg? Okay, so Just I got she had a Houston flow. Y'all you, you from Houston? Go, yeah, you can't go wrong with a Houston flow. But Glow, Glow running shit right now. Glow is running. Yeah. Glow. She on Glow. top right now. Glow. I can't say music. I ain't mad at it. Okay, okay. Boom, next question. What's the worst date your ex ever took you on? Uh, uh, to her people's house. It was so ass, because they was rude as fuck. That was the date? Yeah. What y'all do? Uh, we just went went like to her people's house and ate food, but that shit was lame. A little dry. Okay. What about you? Not my ex, but main event. It wasn't the place so much more the expectation. Oh, What's up, friends? Y'all y'all drunk yet? Yes. It's questions about life. Yeah. What was the question again? My question was uh, that's a great question. Come on now. Oh, what? What's the? What's the? No, no, no. What's the worst date your ex ever took you on? I cannot tell you. Why not? I'm drunk. I can't. I ain't gonna lie, I got one. He took me to his homeboy gender reveal. That, shit was that was a day. <laughs> what y'all do? It was, I mean, it was chill, but it was ghetto. Yeah. That sound ghetto. Yeah. Okay. Y'all know the answer. Yeah. Okay. Bet, bet, bet. What's the message uh, you got to your favorite eater that got away? My favorite eater right next to me, sir. Respect. Respect. I'm guessing you got the same answer. Same answer. That's a good answer. I ain't gonna lie, I'm back. You back? I, I walked away, but like I'm with my favorite eater right now, so you know. All right, you, I ain't really missing that. What did you say? How does it feel to be her favorite eater? What? The what? Like, be cool. Wait, wait. You just said that. Wait, wait, wait no. What? 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 You just wait, said. Wait. She said. How am I know that? You said it right now. Yeah, you was favorite eater right now. I mean, I'm. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. But you heard what they, you heard what her answer was? Why are you being weird? What was her answer, though? I don't know. What was her I said, I said mine's right next to me. Oh, I ain't say that. That's crazy. I said and I'm what you my said. favorite eater right now. You, said, like, you hear how those sound similar, though? I'm fucking with a nigga right now. I'm not with him like that. I ain't no mistake. My bad, gang. I ain't trying to. I mean, how you, because she pulled up right next to you. So I'm, you know. You know she be on that. I feel it. All right, boom, last question. If you could, uh, what's what's one thing niggas don't do enough of that they need to do more of? I'm gonna let you go first. Be consistent. You feel like you consistent? Yeah. What's your most like consistent trait? What's consistent about you? That's a good question. I ain't gonna lie, give it to you. <laughs> I hope I get a good answer. Uh, I would say give females their flowers because they have lost hella respect for females now. Okay. Yeah, type thing. Treat your lady good, romance. 
What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coke Sedan, here on JV TV. I'm with the one and only beautiful Sky Sparks. Hey, y'all heard it here first. What can they follow you at? Sky Sparks. That's everywhere? Yeah. S K Y Y E 2 Y's 1 E. Okay. And tell the people where you're from? I'm from Houston, Texas. Hey. Already. And how old you is? I'm 21. Yes, ma'am. Boom, my first question for you. Who the best female rapper out right now? Nicki Minaj. Oh yeah, talk your shit. Cause I ain't gonna lie, a lot of these people they don't know what's really going on. Me and you up on game clearly. I don't know what they be talking yeah, about. Yeah, they yeah, this new shit. Nah, for real though. All right, boom. Next question. What's the worst thing your ex ever did to you? Had a baby, and then named the baby y'all. He named his baby after my nephew. You lying? I was like, wow. That's some whole shit. I ain't gonna lie. Definitely. You back, friend? Oh, we gotta leave already. We didn't even get your one question. Come on. I'm gonna ask you one too. What's the worst thing your ex ever did to you? Fuck with me. That's the worst thing you could have <laughs> That's the worst thing you could have done was fuck with me. I feel it. Bye y'all. Bye. Alright, y'all be safe. Right there.